Well, you guys watched me uh, run this thing this spring, but uh, I never really did much of a review or much of a video on this tractor. Um, this is the uh, 8400R. And uh, I know I've been talking about some uh, Challenger tractors and stuff in the videos here as of recent. Just going to maybe change some things in this. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about that and share a little bit more about this 8400R here. Uh, this 8400R is a really decked out one. Um, it's got the uh, full weights package in the front, uh, 420, 34 front duals. Uh, it is an 8400R, which 400 means so engine horsepower in the R series, which there is no 8000 M's or anything, which would be a min range. They all have the 8Rs. Uh, the 8400Rs are an E23 transmission. And uh, in the back, it's got 18450s. And it's pretty loaded up with weights. Um, you get this kind of horsepower, you, you got to have some pretty good ballast. 5 SCV option uh, up here on the fender. It's got the fender extensions, which you have to get if you go to the 31 mile hour transmission. You have to get these extensions, and you, to get the extend or get the PTO switch, you have to get the uh, extensions as well. Uh, it does have a um, Heavy duty uh, draw bar. That's a, a cat board draw bar. Never even been used. Uh, it's always been through the three points here. And uh, nice machine. It's got the LED light options all the way around on it. It's uh, got the mirror option there. This is an optional. It's a mud shield here. Um, just pretty loaded up this tractor. Uh, on the eight, on these secondary eight R's, this would be a. Uh, well, 8360Rs came out, and then they changed them to an 8370, and then they finally added an 8400 on top of this. So 8370 would replace an 8360. 8360Rs were not Tier 4 Finals, they were interims. When they went to the Tier 4 Finals, that's when you're going to see this ladder series like an 8370R. And uh, they they changed quite a few things. Uh, anybody that thinks the 360 and 370 are not much different, there's actually a lot of difference. Uh, they went to the diesel per... Uh, um, DEF plus they left a particular filter which you see here but they changed all the body around added the steps down the side so you can get up there and wash your right hand window uh, and lots of cab updates uh, including the optional right hand windshield wiper um, you're also another big noticeable thing is all your draw bar support and everything on here is a one single piece cast unit, whereas the others are kind of a bolt together design. So if you ever look at any 370 versus any 360, huge amounts of differences. And the biggest is, is right inside the cab. There's the uh, optional uh, refrigerator, and here's a uh, optional carpet on the floor. I need to vacuum this out. I'll try to keep a towel in here so it stays halfway clean. Um, anyway, this particular tractor, the biggest thing that they changed was right in here. Your your console is so, so much better than on the, uh, the, uh, 8360s had the small little screen down here. They were just years and years behind. They've made these cabs quieter. They've made the sound systems better. Seat turns more, just, just leaps and bounds different toggle the key so I can explain some of this stuff. Uh, this is the E23 transmission which you can set and operate like an IVT through these buttons here or you can actually use power shift it's just 23 speed power shift. Uh, to get the 31 mile an hour transmission you have to have ILS front axle which I'm a little bit back and forth on personally on a tractor like this. I almost prefer a uh, just a 1500 series, but um, I know a lot of people like the ILS and it's pretty trouble for you. It's just got some damn many grease points down there. And uh, this is the control box here for the planter. And if you go to a Seed Star 4, I guess that they have that now where it's an integrated into this. And even have something called an easy fold where you can just hit one button and fold up. Alrighty, now we're booted up there. Anyway, um, I did go up and I get a chance to uh, to demo the uh, Fent tractor, the 1050. I did not shoot a video on it. I didn't know, you know, quite how I felt about bombarding a salesman. You know, I always had enough questions of my own, let alone bombard him with uh, a YouTube video. But uh, the Fent is a better than a Challenger. It's, it's the same tractor as a Challenger, but it's an improved version. It's kind of like the, the Chevy is a uh, Challenger and then the Cadillac is a 
is the other. You know, same belly, same chassis, but a lot nicer uh, stuff on top of it. Um, you know, how that fent would stack up against this particular tractor, um, day and night difference, honestly. Uh, that, that, that thing is in a league of its own. Um, they, uh, dynoed the particular one they had on the inventory, and it was producing 550 PTO horsepower, and, which is just unreal. This particular one here is probably running, I don't know, 340 PTO horse, maybe 350, 360, I have no idea. You know, 400 is the engine. Uh, the Fent is actually almost easier to get out of the cab than John Deere. The door is better, the cab's better, it's got a suspension cab system. Um, their seat's even better, uh, it comes around about the same. Now the one thing I think John Deere did is maybe a little bit better layout over here. Uh, this, this is a really good console. And their user interface, which is why I lit this up. Um, when you buy John Deere and you get a John Deere planter, you can just go right on through boom your pages are here your mappings here everything's here and while i don't think it's the best system out there it's definitely it's definitely a, a good system to where uh competition is a hard time touching it it is it is truly a uh, well thought out well managed system um, i don't think that uh I don't think that you're going to get anything like that through Fent. And even the dealer admitted, you know, the Fent is running behind on their, on their, you know, I don't know, I call it AMS equipment. But, uh, yeah, they're ways behind. But uh, everything else about that Fent tractor is amazing. Uh, anybody that's been around the dozer has what they call differential steering, which means if you want to turn your know, right, these tires would slow down. The others on the left would speed up to take a right-hand corner. Um the tractors, you know, the differential turns. You'll hear your out in the gravel, you'll hear pop, pop, crunch, 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 the gravel underneath your tires. That fent does not do that because it actually propels the one speed, one side up and the other side down. Anybody's driven, drove an IVT John Deere, um, and I can explain this on their video, but uh, anybody's drove an IVT John Deere knows how slushy they are and how throttle responsive they are, where a, a fence not that way. You can either operate the tractor at 800 RPM or 1800 rpm and it'll remain the same speed it does not have a quote slush factor to it uh, the fan it, it is a bit of a ripoff of the john deere ils but you got front three-point hitches you got a button you can hit the freewheel your pto for winding down a bush auger or a baler you got differential steering you have you have cvt drive technology there are so many things, like factory air brakes. I mean, I, I should have made a list up before I shot this video, but there, there is so many things different on that fence that John Deere does not even have. Engine brakes, uh, or exhaust brakes, Jake brakes. Um, beautiful, beautiful tractor. Just day and night difference between this, uh, or the John Deere in, 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 that, in that fence. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a nice rig and, and seems to be the way of the future, so that's probably what we'll be looking forward to. Um, getting something going there in the next few months. But, um, yeah, if you're looking at Challenger fence, bypass the Challenger and cry to the Fent. Uh, the dealer I've been working with are super nice guys. And uh, it's a beast of a tractor, no doubt. It is a true beast. Um, very large, very powerful, but uh, the way it operates, it's, it's just like you're riding on a cloud uh even the scent even the steering on it even kind of it's like a car you know doesn't tear out of your hands it'll kind of return to center follows the road contour but anyway uh john deere did a majorly improved job with these uh 8000 series these latter 8000 series so if you're considering one an 8370 versus 8360 don't don't waste your time on 8360 or you'll be sorry 8370 is majorly improved personally after viewing the fan and i'm not a i'm, I'm a john deere guy as you can tell <laughs> but uh, uh honestly that 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 fan is just light years ahead i mean just absolutely light years ahead so anyway uh i'll have some more commentary and things on that just wanted to get a video up for the day i know it's um it's hard to get a video done every day, it seems like, but I'm, I'm sticking to my promise trying to do those, and I appreciate everybody tuning in to watch them, and I really enjoy commenting back and forth to everybody. So I'll have a lot more to say in the future, but uh, anyway, 
hit the, if you like these videos at all, hit the uh, subscribe button and the, and the thumbs up. Help me uh, build the channel too. So thank you everybody that watches. Um, stay tuned for more. I will hopefully at some point have a FAMP video. Um, a lot of things going on right now. Um, just I'll uh, keep shooting it and, and putting things up on YouTube as things go. So stay tuned for more.